Yeah, I mean, CRISPR is interesting, right? Um, it's been around for about 10 years now. Uh, I think it's celebrating its 10th birthday this year. Um, and uh, so it's it's come up quite quickly and because it's just been shown to be really efficient. Um, it, it is a, it's, it's enzymes effectively um, that can edit uh, the genome. And uh, from that perspective, um, you know, it serves a similar purpose as viral vectors in many cases, in many ways. Um, but it is very fast. It's very relatively easy to make compared to the complexity of a viral vector, for example, which takes weeks and is highly complex and very expensive. Um, and uh, and it is very efficient and very accurate. So the gene editing. Um, process using CRISPR is highly, it's just highly efficient and, and beneficial from that perspective. So it's a great tool um, and our customers use it in a variety of ways um, depending on what their final product profile is supposed to look like. But I think where it is most important is what I said earlier for for um, solid tumors and off-the-shelf um, therapeutics we will have to edit the cells so that they are they become somewhat invisible to the immune system otherwise they would trigger a reaction rather than perform the curative um, action that, that that we expect of them um, so doing those gene editing pieces uh, excising uh, certain parts of the genome that would trigger the immune system but also then in integrating the novel car for this new product things like that so it's just a really versatile tool from that perspective um,